Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to do a tag that I haven't really um, heard of. I haven't done tags in a very very long time so I figured that this tag would be perfect to do for you guys. So I have the questions, oh not that one, here on my phone. I don't know if you can see that. They're, I screen cap or I took a picture of the screen cap on my phone so that I could go back because I'm using my webcam so I'll be reading them from my phone and then I'll be answering them. Um, this was from Ellie. Her name is, and it's um, Elko. I'll have her link down below because this is the only one that I've actually seen on YouTube of a tattoo tag. And you know me, I have a bunch of tattoos. I have 10 of them. And I'm working on my 11th one here. So hopefully soon I can get into one of my favorite tattoo artists. And he happens to be a close personal friend. So, you know, it's awesome to have friends you know, I I love get going to him because, you know, he, I heal better with him, so, with his ink, and he's just, he's just a really good artist, and he's a really good friend, so, um, but yeah, so let's just get into the first question. How many tattoos do you have? I have ten, like I said, and I'm working on my eleventh one, um, all in the last two years, so, I've had basically, I would say, well, Ten of them in two years, so five a year. I haven't had one in a couple months, so I think it's due time for another one. Um, so number two is, what's your favorite tattoo? Um, this is kind of a hard question because I love all my tattoos. Um, yeah, I have like a bunch, so I don't know. I have I love all my tattoos. I love all of them for different reasons. They're all personal to me. And I have my symbol one because that's my childhood favorite childhood movie and I'm 25 or I'll be 25 and I still love that movie um I have to let it go because I love that song and it's got a personal meaning to me um you know I've got this right here which is a person they're all personal to me to myself um so I can't really pick my favorite one um because I love them all I love them all for different reasons so I would say they're all my favorite. Even my upcoming one would be my one of my favorites. Um, how old were you when you got your first tattoo? Well, I'm twenty. I'll be twenty five here in the next two weeks, week and a half maybe. Um, and so, um, how old was I when I got my first one? I think two years ago. So I was twenty two, twenty three, almost twenty three years old. Um, when I got my first tattoo, which was, the, which actually was the quote first, it says, it's okay not to be okay. And, I know it's backwards on the screen, you can't really see it. But, uh, it was the quote with the little hearts first. And then, my friend Brandon, who did the, who did the tattoo, he added, he freehanded the um, heart of the flowers. And he added that around it. Which I think it totally completes the tattoo, so... That was my first tattoo two years ago. And the only reason I know that is because I have time hop on my phone. And it shows me all my posts from Facebook. And that came up a couple, like about a week or so ago. Came up as my first tattoo. I was getting ready to do it. So, um, Number four. What do your parents think about your tattoos? My mom has tattoos. And so she's okay with them. My stepdad has tattoos. So he's okay with them. You know, he doesn't, he's, he doesn't care, it's my body. Mom doesn't care, you know, as long as I have the money, I do truly have the money to get one, and it's what I want, not just a random tattoo, then she's okay with it. My dad, I'm not quite sure, he doesn't really localize it, so he's okay with it. He, he just knows I'm an adult, so I'm going to do what I'm going to do, so he just kind of goes with it. Um, my grandma, on the other hand, my grandma's not okay with her tattoos at all. She hates whenever I get a new one. She's always like, that's your last one, right? And I'm like, not really. But she, she again, I'm an adult. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. So, um, so yeah, they're, my parents are okay with them. Number five, does your boyfriend like your tattoos? If so, what's his favorite? I'm single. I don't have a boyfriend to like my tattoos. 
even if he didn't, then he doesn't like me. So I, I, I think that a person should like you for who you are in the inside, not the outside. So, in the outside, actually, you know, a bon it's just a bonus. If they think you're beautiful on the outside, that's a bonus. And if he can't, if a person that I'm going to be interested in or whatever can't accept my tattoos, then obviously they can't accept me because they're a part of me. They're permanent. So, if, um... I hope to find somebody who's okay with tattoos. And if not, then they can hit the road. Number six, did you always have a love for tattoos, and what's your inspiration? Um, I, I never really thought about getting tattoos, you know? It was never really, um, just a, it's kind of more of just a, like a, here, let's just, just, just get one, you know, let's just see. It took me up until I was 19 years old to get my ears pierced, so it, Getting a tattoo took me up until I was 22, but there was, this comes from a song by Jesse J called Who You Are, and I love that song. That song got me through a lot of um, difficult times, and I always loved that quote that it's okay not to be okay, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to bite the bullet, I'm going to do it, and uh, my friend Brandon said that was a perfect tattoo for me. He said that that's awesome that I wanted to get it, so I got it. And I love tattoos. I love the feeling of them now. So my inspiration is usually if I'm going through something at that time, it reminds me of my strength and me going through that time and how I got over it. You know, I got through it. So that's usually what my tattoos are, or they are a part of my life, you know, um what I'm going through or who I am as a person, they go in my body, just to remind me. Uh, number seven, do you plan on getting more tattoos in the future? Yes. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping to plan out a tattoo here soon with my friend Nigel. He, um, I actually just saw him a couple of days ago and told him I was going to come in for a tattoo, so I'm not going to say when because the last time I said when I was going to do a tattoo, I ended up having to have surgery, so I'm not going to say when. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to go there and schedule it out or call them and schedule it out. That way I can not, you know, have to wait. I'll just do it. I'm not sure when, but I do plan on getting a couple more at least. At le I have one plan for right here, and then, um, I don't know. I'm going to get my other, my one of my tattoos just touched up, and then possibly another back tattoo. I'm not sure yet. Uh, nine, number nine, do you regret any of your tattoos? Um, no. Actually, I don't. I don't regret any of my tattoos because they have a special meaning to me. And they're all things that I've been through and I've, you know, it's my life basically on my skin. So, um, I don't regret any of them. I maybe regret, not really regret, but I maybe wish I would have chosen things differently to look on the tattoo, but I think they all turned out beautiful. They're all awesome tattoos by awesome people, and they're all, like I said, life events that are just physically on my skin. You can see them. You can see what I've been through if you, you know, just stop to ask me what they mean. Uh, number 10, what was your least, um, oh, I skipped one. Number 8. Which tattoo would you say was the most painful? The most painful tattoo, oh my gosh, it was my side tattoo. It, I have a, on, on my ribs, and it says, Though she be but little, she is fierce. And it's basically from under my chest, and it's basically that whole section of rib there. Oh my gosh, it is. it was the most painful tattoo I've ever had out of all of them. I almost cried during the whole tattoo. I was not breathing very well. It was just bad. It was not a bad experience with the tattoo. You know, obviously it wasn't his fault. It was me. I it was just so, so painful. So painful. And i scared to get it touched up because it hurts so bad because it's with me when I, when I lay down I'm nothing but rib. My ribs kind of expand a little bit so they're bigger than usual because of my, my spina bifida, so I'm nothing but rib when I lay down. So it hurts so stinking bad on that side, and I'm scared to get it touched up, but 
I know I have to. It's not a big touch-up. It's just going to be, you know, a couple of things. But, yeah. That hurt. That took a while because I was, like, not breathing. I was holding my breath and stuff like that. So, that's definitely the most painful out of all of them. My least painful... That's number 10. What was your least painful tattoo? That was this shoulder right here because I've had so many surgeries on my back that some of my um, nerve endings are damaged in my back, my skin nerves, and so I don't feel a lot on that side. So I really didn't feel anything when he did that tattoo, which was awesome because there was no pain. So that's awesome. Um, number 11, who would you tag? I tag all of you. If you have tattoos, you should definitely do this tag. I'll have, I keep scrolling to that picture. It's a picture of a bird, by the way. Um, yeah, I tag all of you. If you have tattoos, I'll have the questions down in the description below. And I want to see all of your tattoo tags and see, um, you know, about your tattoos. So, I tag every single person watching this. Um, I'll also have the, the links, I'll link, to, I'll link her um, YouTube and I'll link the questions down below and I'll have a link down to my Facebook and my Twitter and my, my uh, Instagram and my Snapchat and I think that's it. I think that's all I have right now. If, I had, if there's any more that you guys have then let me know and I'll maybe start an account on those but for now that's all I have. And that way you guys can follow me on there. You can follow her. And cause she's actually really good. She does like the, um, it's called a holy grail or holy fail. And it's like Pinterest beauty tip or beauty tricks that she tries out. And it's really cool. That's kind of what got me into her channel. So I'll have a link down to hers and you can check it out and see what she's all about. So yeah, I'll have a video up after this. I'm kind of not, not really copying, but I kind of like actually like the idea of going in depth with my tattoos so I'll have a, um, a video up this next week about all of my tattoos and the kind of like in-depth um, meanings to every single one of them so it's gonna be longer than this video which is already 12 and a half minutes long but um, I'll yeah I'll have it next week of the, just the meanings to me and why I got them and when I got them and all that so yeah, that's about it. Um, don't forget that you're beautiful just the way you are. And I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.